Hello again. I was fascinated to see how the BBC would try and work black people into the release of the 1921 census material, which took place today. How on earth would they manage this? I need not have worried because, of course, the BBC can make anything about black people, homosexuals and women. The important thing is, of course, to avoid mentioning heterosexual white men. So it is that we find in the report on the BBC website, to which I give a link in the description to this video, that there were 1,712 Jamaican-born people living in England and Wales in 1921, according to the census. Dr Harold Moody was one of the most prominent. He had finished at the top of his class studying medicine at King's College, London. There are two things to consider here. The first is that there were a damn sight more people living in Britain from countries other than Jamaica, but they don't seem to rate a mention. Why focus on Jamaica to the exclusion of China, India or Spain? What is it that's so special about Jamaica, other than uh, that it is in the main black people who live in that country? I also give in the description to this video a link to an analysis of the information gleaned from the release of the 1911 census 10 years ago. This shows what I mean. According to the census records that year, there were no fewer than 26,000 people living in Britain but born in France, 9,000 from Germany, 4,500 from Russia, and there were even more than 1,800 who had been born in China. The picture is much the same with the 1921 census at which the BBC has been looking today. We all know, though, that there was not the slightest chance that the BBC would mention that there were more people living in the country who were born in China at that time than there were those born in Jamaica. Why? The reason is quite simple. The only minority in whom the BBC are interested are those of African ancestry. This really is a bit rummy. There were far more people born in Britain who had been, far more people living in Britain, I should say, who had been born in India at that time than had been born in the Caribbean. But the BBC doesn't want to be bothered with them, only black people. It was inevitable that they would hunt around until they came up with a black man whose photograph they could stick up on the website too. This may be seen in the thumbnail to this video. This, by the way, introduces a second curious point of interest. It's a little bit of a puzzle. According to the person who wrote the bit for the BBC, Harold Moody, the black doctor, finished at the top of his class studying medicine at King's College, London. I have never, I've, well, I've seen this claim before, but I've never seen it dating from before 2017. Even notorious race grifters like David Olusoga and Rennie Edo Lodge do not make this claim, although they both mention Harold Moody in their books. What does the BBC mean by this? Do they mean that he got the highest mark in one particular year or what? I'll spend an hour or so trying to find out where this claim comes from, and as far as I say, it seems to have emerged in a local newspaper in Southwark in 2017, just five years ago. More research needed, I think. There's something faintly offensive about the way that the BBC studiously ignores other ethnicities whenever they can, and yet never miss a trick to promote the interests of Africans and Caribbeans. If I was Indian or Chinese, I might be a little irritated about this habit of theirs.